Hey guys, got another video here for you. This one's on how to create your own Windows 8 USB installer. Now this is going to be very useful if you want to try to install Windows from a USB flash drive. Now this is, I did say Windows 8 and it hasn't been released yet, but we're going to be using the Windows 8 Developer Preview. Now this method will work on the full release once it gets released, so just use this method once you get the full Windows 8 uh, release. But you can do it on this 64-bit and 32-bit versions for free, okay? And you can download it from this website. Now we're going to be using the Microsoft tool for this one, and you can get that from this website. It's called Windows 7 USB DVD Download Tool, and it will be able to create USB and DVDs so you can make bootable devices from both of those USB or DVD okay there is a couple of requirements you're going to need you're going to need to make sure these operating systems are installed and also you're going to need to make sure that you've got a 4 gigabyte removable USB flash drive and Microsoft.NET Framework installed okay with all that done I've got my, U, uh, my USB plugged in which is in my, in my uh, computer here as you can see and I've also got my ISO image which is of the Windows uh, Developer Preview. So this is the tool, it's pretty straightforward, you need to fire that up and then choose your ISO image top here, because that's where I've got my file, click on this and click open. Click next, now this is the choice of uh, media here, you can either use USB or DVD, so if you want to make a bootable DVD you can actually click this one, but we're going to be using the USB device. Now this is very important, if you've got any other USB uh, devices plugged into the system, just be careful make sure you've got the right one uh, selected, OK? So we're going to be using this version here, and I'm going to go begin copy. It wants to erase the USB drive, I'm going to say yes to that, and then say yes to this. Are you sure you want to continue? It's going to start formatting the pen drive and then it will start to copy the files across. Now this does take some time, uh, probably up to 30 minutes or 20 minutes or so, so just go and make yourself a cup of tea and let that go. Now it does sort of stall for a little while and then it will start to copy the files across, so just be patient. Okay, so that's the actual process complete now, and that did take quite some time to uh, finish. And remember, this is only one uh, way of doing this sort of uh, job, so there is many other different ways of doing it. So let's have a look at the actual uh, drive now and find out what's happening with that. So as you can see, this is the actual drive, and you can see all the files are in there, and now the drive will be bootable, and all we'd need to do at this stage is boot to that actual drive. Now if you don't know how to change the uh, boot order in the BIOS I will be posting up some instructions now so you'll be able to follow these instructions. Okay so now we know how to boot to a USB device after we've changed our options in the BIOS screen. I think that's about it for this video. You should be able to now boot to that device and install Windows 7 or Windows 8 onto a netbook or something like that that you need to do. Okay, so I hope you enjoy these videos. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support and rate and favorite all my videos. And I'll be uh, making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.